Hello, my friends. It's been a while, but we're back in the beautiful Sierras at Wrightsley, California. My friends are in bed still. Uh, we got in pretty late, but I'm a bit jet lagged, so I woke up way earlier than I really should have. But uh, yeah, I'm on the lake now. Hopefully we can catch a few fish this morning. Uh, but I think later today we'll be doing a fun hike into the mountains and hopefully we can go and catch some backcountry trout. So stay tuned. I had a fish pick up my mouse tail. Need a few seconds to play with it. Let it go. That was pretty sweet. That was only five minutes in. On there. I think he is. Hard to say. Maybe not. No, I let go. All right, we'll recast it back out where it was. Hopefully we get a fish to pick it up again. Thought I got a take, but I think the bird just swam over my line. Happens. I think we might have a fish on one of these. Let's see, maybe on the other one too. Yeah, that's a fish on for sure. to my other line too unless it's another fish. Got a massive tangle on this, but got a nice fish. Shoot. Looks like he ate both of my leers. This fish is wild. Crazy. Got this beautiful little stock of rainbow. Uh, we'll probably fry him up for breakfast. It'll taste great. Hey guys, welcome back. We're here today in the Tahoe National Forest and uh, we've been camping a little bit by Wright Lake. So right now it's already noon, we had a late start, and we're gonna go up to Twin Lakes and see what kind of trout we can catch. See you guys there. Hi, so we just came onto our first view of Wright's Lake behind Chris here in the background. Um, I think you can see either Ice House or Loon there in the background too. I don't know how old you can see on this camera. If you pan over to the left, it seems like there might be some rainstorms. So we're gonna try to avoid those. But it's beautiful up here. Absolutely beautiful. You guys, we're on our way towards our final ascent, it seems. It'll be a big one, but uh, we'll catch you at the top. We're getting really close to Twin Lake, but the creeks here are starting to look really juicy. Some nice pools in them. Looks like a little freestone riffle right here. It's not so much shallow, but I feel like there's gotta be a fish or two in here. There's gotta be. Hey guys, so we're so close to Twin, but we came across this beautiful pool that we wanted to check out, throw our leaders a few times. We can't see any fish, 
but it just looks so fishy that we had to give it a try. So uh, let's see how we do. Okay, so I just cooked a nice brook trout. Yo, yo, it's nice. Right. Oh, it's pretty good. So this is actually my first ever trout on a fly. I wow. My fly rod, I don't have it here, but I'm using a cast casting bubble to cast it. But a uh, nice little brook trout there. Hopefully you can see that well. Um, I'm gonna get him back in the water, but you get to see that there's fish in this little pool that we stopped at. Oh, anybody again. Oh, fuck. Using the wrong gear. Alright, let's go. Andy just got a fish. <laughs> Another nice brookie, it looks like, from here. Yeah, yeah, it's a brookie. Oh, nice. Oi, nice. Let's go. Good stuff. This little pond has been paying off. Off the beaten path a bit, but it looks beautiful. Alright, let's show the, show the fan. It's got like a little grass on here, but... It's a little fatter, yeah. maybe. He looks like a tiger, kind of? Yeah, it's really cool Ooh, colors. What a weird pattern. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's a brook. That's a brook. Just kidding. Wow. Wait. What a weird pattern. Okay, maybe I'm just bad at this. If I had to guess, I'd say brook, but... Okay, we'll call I it don't a brook. Know. I call everything a brook. Yeah, cool. <laughs> you want to fry him up or throw him back in? Um, on the smaller side, I'll throw him back. Okay. Yeah. On a nice panther martin. On a nice panther martin, nice. yeah. I got mine on a little nymph, a uh, euro nymph, I think. Euro nymph. So, yeah. Well, let's see if Kristen catches first yeah, fish Yeah, let's here. see. This is the cast. All right, yeah, I'll put him back. All right, here. Like you said, this might be a three fish pool, though. Yeah. All right, yeah, no fish. Just can you give me a photo? Uh, I got another nice little brookie, I think, um, on my fly again. Uh, I'm going to keep it in the water because I'll probably release them again. Not a big one. Um, but it's a nice one for this like little pool up here in the mountain. Absolutely beautiful. So Andy, we just got up to Twin Lake finally after being at Wright's Lake and this little pool below Twin Lake. Really, right? And Extremely wow, bullish. nice brook trout. Nice brook trout. About the same size as what we were catching in the pool. Uh, same size. So, show the fans. But man, this lake is beautiful. That and the fish are cast. too. They got the fall colors going and everything. Yeah, beautiful it's fish. Nice. I'll send him back. Yeah, I think in the future we should get a nicer net for this. Makes it a little easier to release. Yeah, I mean, I have a net, I just didn't want to bring it. Oh, I got one. <laughs> Already? Yeah. This one feels pretty nice, too. Hopefully, you guys can see that on camera. Oh, oh this is a really good one. Oh, this is a small one. Tiny little bookie. There we go. Come down there. Yeah, wait, the fishing here is deep. Okay. Oh, I yelled back. Nice. There you go. That's a fish. There we go. There we go. Um, this is like a pretty nice one actually. You like another five? Yeah. This guy fights good. No, he's not the same size as the previous ones. That's how you guys can really see on camera. But, uh, right in front of me here. I'm on barbless hook, so I'm just trying to maintain tension. Yeah, this is a feisty one. Yeah. Oh, Another nice brook trout. Yeah, I decided to move to a deeper part of the lake. And Andy on his first cast really caught a nice brook trout. We're gonna try and fry it up later, but Beautiful being out here.
I think we got to upper 20. Chris has been fishing during this time, and I think he finally caught his first fish on a Panther Martin. Oh, oh there it is. Looks there it like is. a bricky, not a very colorful one for the other lake. But holy shit, Chris is desperate. He's trying to confirm my that he caught this fish. fish. Dude. Wow, my first wow. fish ever. This is, very, <laughs> this is very unique. It's pink instead of orange like the other uh, one. Yeah. I'm gonna go by kind the water. Cool why there's a different. Yeah. Hey y'all, so uh, we reached Upper Twin Lake, I think it's called, and I was doing a little low on water, so just for fun, I bought something called a life straw on Amazon when it was on sale. So basically it's this little straw with a filter in it. I've never used it before. So I'm gonna try it right now and see how it goes. So it says I gotta put it into the water for 10 seconds. Now that I put it in for 10 seconds, apparently I just like sip it out of the straw. Uh, okay, how do I do this? <laughs> How's it taste, Dorian? Any good? Tastes clean. Damn. I'll say that. Tastes clean. I like that. So, Hopefully I don't get sick a few hours from now, but uh, we'll see. Hey guys, it's starting to get a little bit late, so we're gonna head back down. Everyone didn't skunk today. Chris caught a nice fish at the very end. Uh, I think we got it on footage. Yeah, but we all got fish today. It's a good day. Yeah. Head back, see what we can cook. We have a couple freeze-dried meal and then uh, two trouts, I think, that we're gonna bring back and see, see how it tastes. Yup. Um, and I think on the way back, we're gonna do this loop where we stop by some place called the Enchanted Falls, something like that, Enchanted Pools. Uh, see if there's anything there of interest. Sounds good. Hey, it's the next morning. Look at that fog coming off the surface of the lake. That's beautiful. I'm gonna try and do a little bit of fishing right now. See if I can't catch anything for breakfast. Yeah, it's just like there's might be a bite on the power bit. Our line isn't really tight. Let's see if we can't pull this guy out. Yep, that's a nice fish. Good bite. Nope. Oh, that's a few more. That's nice. That was a fish though. I didn't get a good hook set on them, unfortunately. But uh, that's a good sign. I've been fishing a bit of a cast master. Whoa! I've been fishing a cast master all morning with not much luck. But the power bait seems to do the trick. It's a bit cold. So maybe they're not quite in the mood for some reaction action, if you know what I mean. But uh, we'll cast that again, see if we can't catch one. And Andy just caught a trout on his first cast. That looks like a native rainbow trout. Is this native rainbow? Yeah, you can you can see the par marks on it. So it, it's a young trout. So it probably wow. was bred and bred here. So the native rainbows have like the the dots along their line. So that's a young rainbow specifically. Young so usually rainbow. the government will put in adult rainbows that don't have those par marks anymore. I so, see. What are they called? Uh, par marks. P A R. -R. Par marks. Okay, interesting. Yeah. That's cool. So. Uh, wow. What For those of y'all to join in, we just uh, started fishing the Silver Fork American River. Uh, we wanted to do a little bit, a bit of stream fishing. We've been doing fishing in lakes all this entire trip, so we decided to move down the road a bit. So nice. I'm gonna put them back. Bullish. Yep. Hey guys, about to have my first cast. Gonna walk down to this little spot on the river here. Got a little weightless night crawler. That's my go-to trick on rivers, and uh, see what I can catch here. Gonna so give a nice uphill cast, upstream. Sorry. That drift nicely in the current. And I like watching my line and see if it stops at all. And when it stops, then usually I know there's a fish on it. Nothing there. And you just got stuck in a bit of a dead eddy. But try that again. Nice cast. That drift again naturally downhill.
nothing happened there. So I'll reel it up a bit. Try and let it drift downstream still, naturally. Nothing still. And okay, we'll cast again to another spot. See what happens. So uh, back out here for round two. Let's go, Chris has got a fish. What'd you catch? No! Okay, okay, let's go. I got another bite and it ate half my worm. I keep missing the hook set. I just don't really know how to set the hook on it. Oh, what was that? Don't know if that was a fish or not. Oh, there's a fish looking at it. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it. Okay, there you go. Finally. Another nice little rainbow. The wild one again. I think. Let's land it first so we can look. It looks like he has par marks on him. This one's pretty big, bigger than mine. Is this a wild one? I feel like he's a little too nicely colored to be a stalker. Can't tell there's a wild one, but he's a nice one. Oh, come on. Oh, there he goes. He's still right there. There he goes. You guys are at the Silver Fork American, and we've been absolutely slang. So I think this is one of Chris's favorite places to fish, because I think this is one of the first places he ever caught a trout. But uh, it's almost too easy here. You just drop a little worm, and the fish are on it. Just like that, Chris just caught a fish. Oh, came off. But I'm here enjoying my lunch. I already got one earlier. Andy is cleaning up a fish he caught that he wants to take home. I got one in the bag too. But uh, yeah, it's absolutely beautiful out here. Sorry, the tree's in the way. But beautiful Granite Canyon. And uh, we're just catching some stock rainbows. Oh, you got a fish again. Oh, okay, fine. I'll put it in the bag. Whatever, I'll put it in the bag. <laughs> 